Wow. This channel Gangsta Way, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Answer Right Back, a.k.a. The People's Champ. Okay, look who I got with you. Look who I got with me, y'all. I know y'all ain't gonna like this one here. Let them know who y'all is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Shadon. I'm Kareem. And we are the Magnolia Twins from the Think Twice podcast. Twice with the two, baby. So hold on, y'all, y'all repping the Magnolia. I see y'all got the camouflage on. Yeah, right. so now, that, that's me. So, so where y'all was at when that boy set the set the Noe down for 45 days? Um, it must have been on Bourbon Street or something. Yeah, it must have been Mardi Gras. We had a parade or something. I don't know. But this wasn't doing no Mardi Gras, and back then we weren't playing Bourbon. So where y'all was? Were y'all hiding out? Did he make y'all go inside for 45 days? Man, it, it, nigga and they man, I tell you, look, sit, bro, look. We didn't go for bad, but I was outside. Okay. Nobody, nobody, nobody. That's a, that's, that's, I never, that's some bro. That's a big old. Oh, he, he, he put a ten on a two with that. He put a ten on a two with that. He stretched, he, he stretched yeah. that one a little bit. All right, Definitely. man. Shout out to Ripper, man, because he, he still, uh, we still got the torch going for the city. That's still a good thing. And yeah, we still gonna come together eventually. Yeah, back. That's that's the that's the plan. Okay. Um. Now let me ask y'all this. Switching subjects. Um. There was this rapper who shot his family up, his girl and the children. They say to promote his album. What y'all think about that? What y'all take on that? Well, I'm gonna let you go first. Let me tell you what I, this I, is my I, thing. You know, in our time coming up, a lot of these rappers we knew them personally. So you know how the people like to say they follow behind these rappers. We didn't follow behind rappers. We knew that these dudes wasn't living like this. We liked their music. We supported them, but we at that time, not just the twins, but most of us that was in the streets at the time, we were the guys they was rapping about. You understand what I'm saying? So we didn't follow rappers. That right there is kind of like, I guess, listen to rap music. You want to just have that reputation. Everybody got to be a stepper. Everybody got to have ops. You know, and that, that's, that's what that's about, I think, if you ask me. Well, I think they should put him in Angola with a straight jacket and throw him in a cell with all the Buddha bands. And let him have their way with him. And then we'll see how much of you a gangster is then. How much you a gangster, you know, how much gangster you stand up to be back there. Because that's what they're going to do when they get back there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so now, y'all been... Checking out the red report. So um y'all see the little drama you got going on with Lil Soldier Slim and, and Magnolia Dana. Mm, right. So my take is a guy who claimed to be a step or an ex stepper shouldn't speak on a woman. He should let the women deal with that. What's y'all take on that? Well, you know, our second rule is stay out people business. You know, I don't want to curse, but normally I would say that another way, but it's on your platform, but stay the F out people business. Men's business. But I will say this though, and this is with my own eyes. I've seen Soldier Slim with that boy more than one, or more than one occasion. He was dressed alike one time we seen him. Another time, Logger Black came walking and walked for Red. He had the boy with him. And, and, and Logger said, Twin, look at him. Y'all know what that is? And I really didn't know. I said, No, he said, Man, look at his head. He grabbed his head, he grabbed like, his this. head like this and said, Man, it's Slim. I said, You know what? He sure do look. That's the little boy we seen Slim with. So, Regardless of what people saying, this is what we seen. Whether he, what people want to claim or not claim, I ain't got no 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 horse in this, no dog in this fight. You know what I'm saying? But people in the project believe that Slim. People that grew up and they believe that Slim. Have you asked somebody like Johnny Boo that was around him more than we what we were? He'll tell you, yeah. Logger Black will tell you they was around him a lot more than what we were. We seen him, like I said, Slim used to come out and holler from time to time, but they was around him every day, and they say that's what they seen too. Right. Okay. Now, um. A few months ago, you know, we had a run in, you guys and myself, uh, with the OZ Jerker man, talking about this old side, new side. Mm -hmm. And I'm still feeling some type of way about that. Mm -hmm. So, um, give me a take on, you know, how y'all feel about the old side, new side, because all the legends come from the new side. Not all of them. Hold up, let me see this. See, but you know, the people got mad behind that. Because to me, it was like this is a friendly conversation. People were like, oh, you trying to split the project up. Man, listen, the Magnolia is the Magnolia. We claim the old side, the new side, but the Magnolia is the Magnolia, man. Our style, swag, you know, the way we do things, the way we carry ourselves, that's just a certain, that's limited to a certain part of that city. Like, we wanted to be classy like gangsters. You know, we was always, you know, even even when he was at his wild, I'll say, they still used to dress fresh. Them boys used to have on vests and Gucci shoes. Yeah, they used to get their line in it. Ass curl, and he had the ass with the, with the three cuts in his wild eyebrows trying to wild out. So even then, oh, yeah, I that. we wanted to be fresh. Yeah, we wanted to be fresh, man. Yeah. That's where we get it from. That's where we get it from. Like watching even older dudes in front of, before us, from the old side and the new side. Like that was, that was what we got our swag from and our style from, to be laid back and, you know, just laid it. I know we do want to be laid as men too. We took pride in that. Yeah. So hold on. So you mean to tell me people know that we climbers having fun because we had a part one, part two, and they mm -hmm. say, 
that we was trying to split the project. What what project? The project gone. It's gone, bro. Like, and I love my hood. I love this set. I love it. When I go drive down there, bro, nobody outside. It's different. It's different, it's different bro. It's different. Mm -hmm. It hurt me too. You see that? Man, that's crazy. So tell me what y'all got going on. Oh man, we got the Think Twice podcast going twice spelled the two. Yeah. Um, it's been a little slow, but we're working on our editing and our and our you know. Things like that, so it's getting better. If you watch it, you'll see the progression of what we've been trying to do. We got a new manager, Queen France. You know, she's been building us for like little things, and we working and networking, and we just be doing short films and short movies. You know, the podcast thing is getting saturated. We understand that. You gotta stay ahead of the hustle, though. So don't worry about that's coming to you. We got, we got, we got something tough. All of us got something tough, and it's gonna be a wonderful thing. You know. So who y'all have editing for you guys? We do it ourselves. Right, I've been learning to do it on my own, bro. Just learning. I'm learning every day. Okay. We might just shoot a video like. Five minutes and just take turns, just mess around with it, putting letters up, putting music up, chopping it, seeing what these different things do in the editing program that we have. So mm -hmm. we learn it on our own, really. Okay, so um, I hear you all making some big moves. You have a big interview coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're supposed to go sit on that couch, real life street stars in the, in the middle of it. The blue. You had a couch. It was a sofa or a couch. I don't know that I've been to that same thing. The lady broke the first lady at real life. She went and got the definition for me. She broke it down, but I still forgot it. So. Y'all will deal with that when y'all get that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, you know. okay. I'm going to add one thing before we end this interview. I just want to say this here. In your defense, bro. You know, when they say you took the picture on the dude lap, whatever. During, the, during that time, y'all, we used to get in the picture. We didn't care about no. We didn't think about we no. We trying to get in the picture. You might take a picture between somebody's legs. You trying to get yeah, in. You might be between your homie's legs, but you're not thinking like, you know, there's no facts. We might be my very old. confident in, in the kind of in, in, in the kind of men we, that we were at that time. A lot of people hit me about that. I'm like, nah, but I don't, nah. that wasn't no gay shit, bro. Not that. Not that, you know? But, you know, well, Sterling was sitting on my lap. But the thing is, what we got to uh, be mindful of, the new generation. They're not used to nothing like that. Everybody's homophobia. But then you got dudes sneaking in the hallway doing oral sex with the homosexual. Oh, we always play like that. <laughs> we always play about... Pause. Uh, dude sitting, uh, <laughs> sitting inside all day playing the game with a bunch of guys playing the game all day. What y'all doing, man? What y'all doing? Y'all playing the game. All the people with the young ladies. Time, you want to be no time with your woman? You want to be with the women? Like, y'all sitting, the, the guys, the bros all day long. Man, come on, man. Something funny. We think they be that. sucking each other off in there all day. That's yeah. what I think. I mean, he, he, he be getting each other booed and sucking each other off, smoking weed and playing the game. Well, That's all well, well I would say this, you know, in this day and time, you know, the young boy, they just want to play the game and tote the Draco. Yeah. That's all they want. They be broke up. And then, kill somebody, and then kill somebody and tell them that everybody else want them. Yeah, That's why I'm out of the way, though. I'm done. Yeah, it's over. You got no one to fold them. The streets don't really have me nothing, bro. This is what I want to say. I say this on my podcast. I want to say this, too, because this is going to be a bigger platform. The difference which separates the twins from a lot of these guys is we come from the streets, and we're telling these young men that the streets, was it was a joke. We was chasing, we was chasing bull crap. You know what I'm saying? And it was a lose-lose situation because if you stand on every code, you do everything you're supposed to do, it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of young men in jail because they got railroaded by the system, by the police. That's a lose-lose situation. Tell me how you're going to beat that. You ain't going to win. Get out of it. So I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm trying to say, look, do what you have to do, but find your way out of the game. If you're in the game, you got a family, you're selfish. If you have a family, young black man, and you don't have a plan to get out of the game, then you're immature and you're selfish. Also, educate yourself, man. <clears throat> Open your mind. There ain't nothing wrong with being intelligent. You got to stop suppressing intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Like, I started reading books, okay? I read a book called Message to the Black Man by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the times and conditions will dictate armed struggle. You know what that means? Stop killing each other up, bro, because when I go to the range, because I go to the range, I'm licensed to carry. When I go to the range, I see a number of families in there bringing their limited children in there. From top to bottom, we're killing each other up. We got to open our mind up to be more mindful and smart about what we're doing out here, young brother. Knowledge of self eliminate self hate. And that's our problem. Find out as much as you can about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Become a better you. Think about good energy and bad it's easy. energy. It's easy to kill another black man. You see me just that nigga. Man, fuck that. F that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I kill that nigga. But you see me as your brother. You want to think like that. And that's my brother. Or even a black woman. If you always see, man, F that beat. Oh man, ain't nothing but a who. But that beat is somebody, mama, man. sister. That's your sister. Beats. Look at it as your sister. And your whole mentality, your mind frame will change how you look at your, your, your own people. But self-hate is the reason why we do that to each other. You know what I'm saying? You'll kill every nigga in the world except the, the nigga, nigga inside of you. That's the nigga you got to kill first. That's the nigga you got to kill first. So when they see us in the level that we on, it's not no friendly, friendly, uh, uh, friendly boy shit that we be on. 
is we just have a better understanding about what we need to do to fall ourselves as a people. And I know that not a lot of people are taking charge of getting back in our communities and doing what we have to do to make our communities more uh, conducive for our women and our children, especially these babies. Because the babies going to be our future. That's our nation. And the mom is the foundation. So yeah, we talk this gangster shit all on the internet and all these things that we just seen, some things we don't talk about, but at the end of the day, we got the ears. If you live long enough, you're going to get wise. But you know what's fucked up and messed up? The streets don't even want you to change. They want you to still be the same person you were when they see you in the trenches like, it's 25 years later, these oh, 25 years later, I'm still want to go out there and sell drugs and shoot people and, you know, come on, man. Come on. A life without change is a waste of life. Man, Louis we trying to drop him before we get out of here, who y'all want to shout out? Man, I want to shout out Magnolia, Johnny Boo, of course. You know Slump what I'm saying? 12, Slump 1200. OG Jerker the Goat. OG Jerker the Goat, for sure, my dog. You know Dana, what I'm saying? you heard me? Dana, you know what I'm saying? Even though Dana, I know that you would never shout us out. But I got you anyway. Because I'm going to tell about myself, yeah. too. But I'm telling you on camera for the world to see. We got this five. We got, you know, slap box something. Yeah. But, but uh, we got do something. Yeah. Of course, shout out to Terrence Williams. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Queen Friends. Queen Friends. You did. Whoever's trying to get their podcast off the ground. Whoever. Inside Souls, Cali Chill, even though, you know. Y'all don't get along. I stand on my own. I do yeah, what I want to yeah. do. It. All those people that's trying to do their thing. You know what I'm saying? All of them. I don't. I Whoever's don't, trying to do their thing, I wish you luck. I, I wish you the best. I wish you the best and keep doing your thing. Straight up. Okay, that's it. Thank y'all for coming through. Thank y'all for showing love. Why? Y'all hit the wine, man. Y'all finna know it. Why? Nah, do this.